All right, let's do 1.3. The following questions were taken from a company's information sheet. A, B, C, D, and E, they're all questions. So how many hours per day do you spend reading? Not as many as I would like, I must be honest with you. How many books have you read in the last 16 weeks? How many books have you bought in the last three months? Were the books, uh, were the books you bought hard copies or soft copies? Do you believe that we should pay 15% VAT on book prices? Okay, so let's see the questions. Study the information above and answer the questions that follow. 1.3.1. Identify the data collection instrument that was used to collect the above. Instrument's kind of a weird word. It basically says, like, what is this that they're presenting to us? It's a survey, right? So you can either say it's a survey or you say it's a questionnaire, but that's basically survey slash, oh, I don't know if I'm going to spell questionnaire right, but I think that's how you spell questionnaire. I'm a math teacher, not an English teacher. Give me some grace. Okay. Then 1.3.2. Name the next step in the data cycle after the instrument has been completed and collected. So basically, once you've done the survey, what do you do? Well, you have to sort the data, right? So you can say classify, you can say sort. So I'm just going to say sort data. Because remember, you have to, you collect and then you sort um, and then often you will then analyze, etc. right? Remember that sort of data cycle that you need to be familiar with from your notes. Then it says, state whether the choices given for D represent categorical or numerical. So for D, it says, were the books you bought hard copies or soft copies? Now, hard and soft copy, that's not numerical. That's categorical, right? Or what we can call qualitative. So we're just going to write here, categorical. Thanks for coming. Right, we are doing a sterling job here. Then it says, write the acronym in full. So what does VAT mean, guys? You need to know this. It is value added tax, right? And um, that is 15%. We know in South Africa, which you need to know off by heart, right? Because that is something that can be assessed and can sort of form part of larger questions. Last question for this video. Give an example of a business that will find the above data useful. So what sort of business would find this useful? Probably bookstore, like exclusive books, bookstore, or a library. Oh, start library with a, I don't even know what letter that was, right? And then that will be sort of sufficient to get your marks. Okay, that's us done.